Okay, so we are graphing quadratic formulas, and this next example is going to be y is equal to a negative 2 times x squared plus 6 times x plus 3. Okay. So the first thing I want to do when I'm graphing these types of things is locate my vertex. Okay, and the vertex, the x-coordinate of the vertex, is given to us actually hidden somewhere within our equation. And it's actually equal to the opposite of our b value divided by 2 times the a value. Again, those a and b values come from us understanding that the standard form of this equation is y is equal to a x squared plus b times x plus c. So in this case, again, a is equal to a negative 2, b is going to be equal to positive 6, and c is equal to a positive 3. Okay? Those are our a, b, and c values. Our vertex, to calculate that, again, I need to take the opposite of my b value. So that's going to be the opposite of 6, or a negative 6. And we're going to divide it by 2 times my a value, or a negative 4. Again, negative 4 came from 2 times my a value. Okay? So the opposite of 6 divided by, uh, negative 6 divided by negative 4 is equal to a positive 3 halves. Okay, so this is a positive 3 halves is the x coordinate. Again, to find our y coordinate, what we're going to do is just take and plug this in to our equation. So again, y is equal to negative 2 times 3 halves quantity squared plus 6 times 3 halves plus 3. Okay, well, 3 halves squared is 3 times 3 divided by 2 times 2. This is going to be a negative 2 times 9 over 4, 9, nine, nine fourths, plus 6 times 1 and a half, or 18 halves, which is a positive 9, plus 3. Okay. So negative 2, that's going to be a negative 18 fourths, when I take the negative 2 times 9 fourths which is really going to be uh, a negative 9 over 2 plus well, 9 plus 3 is 12. It's only 12 over 1. Okay? Combining these, we have a negative 9 halves plus 24 halves, which gives me uh, a positive 15 halves, and that is, again, my y value. Again, all of these were equal to our y value we were coming up with. Oh, all right there. But, okay, so the y value there is 15 halves, or 7 and a half. Okay, so let's take and plot our vertex. So we need to come over here to positive 1, is positive 2. 3 halves is going to be right in between. And then we need to go up to 15 halves, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and another half. So I come straight up here. This, again, is going to be my, my vertex at 3 halves, 15 halves. Okay, or 1.5, 7.5. Okay. Now, if you've noticed, our A value is both greater than 1 um, in the absolute value form and it's a negative number. So we're going to be opening down, and it's going to actually be more narrow than y is equal to x squared. Okay? So there's our vertex. Hey, let's talk about our axis of symmetry. Okay? Axis of symmetry is that vertical line that runs through our x coordinate. So again, we take the green line, all right, just plot that right through. Again, this is our axes of axes of symmetry, which helps us out a lot when we're going to graph this. Okay? So now that we have our axis of symmetry, which is that vertical line, and our vertex, now we need to choose two points, uh, two values of x, and evaluate the function at those two points. So, I'm going to choose at a positive 1, and then at, at, at 0. 
because those seem to be pretty easy points to work with. Again, you can work with any points that you want, but realize the farther you get away from this axis of symmetry, the farther up or down your graph you're going to have to go. Okay? So, testing at 1. Okay? So when x is equal to 1, y is then, again, going to be equal to a negative 2 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 3. Well, a negative 2 times 1 squared is just a negative 2 plus 6 times 1, or 6, plus 3. Negative 2 and positive 6 give me positive 4, plus 3 more, and my y value is at a positive 7. So I can graph the point 1, 7. Okay, graphing the point 1, 7. Okay, and now testing at 0, when x is equal to 0, y is going to be equal to negative 2 times 0 quantity squared plus 6 times 0 plus 3. Maybe you've noticed it already, but anything times 0 is a 0. So this is 0, 6 times 0, again 0, and plus 3. So when x is 0, y is equal to 3. And I can plot that right here. I now have my one, two, three points that are plotted, and I can use this axis of symmetry, kind of like a mirror, to go the exact same horizontal distance and be the same vertical distance on the graph. So at one half of a unit away, I'm at a positive seven, so one half unit away, I'm going to be at positive seven. And one and a half units away, we went from 3 halves to 0, so from 3 halves to a positive 3, we're going to have a value of 3 again. Okay? Again, that's why we, we plot this axis of symmetry. It gives us a lot better perspective, and it helps in the graphing process. Okay? So now all I have to do is connect my five points using a smooth line and making sure that if I use my vertical line test, this whole thing is a function, and there we have it. This is the graph, y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 6x plus 3.